This is a project I did with my Arduino Uno. I wanted to build a digital music keyboard and I originally got the idea, uh, sort of the foundation from the Arduino projects book that comes with their starter pack, but they were using four buttons, uh, each with unique resistance, but they weren't taking advantage of combinations of buttons. And the way they designed the circuit, each button was in parallel, but the resistance going to each button uh, was so drastically different that when you combine them in parallel, you weren't getting a unique reading. For instance, uh, say button one was a had a hundred ohm resistor going to it, and button two had a ten thousand ohm resistor going to it. When you connect those in parallel, you're only effectively changing the current by about one percent versus if you had just pressed the one hundred ohm resistor button by itself. So you couldn't distinguish between pressing button one or pressing button one and two at the same time. So what I needed were four unique resistors that were far enough apart to generate a unique current that I could read in on their own, but also close enough together that when connected in parallel, they would generate a unique value. And I had three resistors that were, uh, that were pretty suitable for this, and everything else was much uh, larger. So I took the smallest of my remaining, remaining resistors, and I wired two of them in parallel to button one, so that it would act as a a smaller resistor. And uh, on the bottom here is a pull-up resistor because uh, you've got your ground there uh, which is what the, the pull-up resistor is connected to wired in parallel with your analog input reading and if you don't have a resistor there the current's going to take the path of least resistance and go straight to ground and you, don't, you won't get a reading at all. The project book used a pretty big uh, resistor here uh, just to ensure uh, that the current would go to the Arduino, but I found that I could get away with using a, a much smaller resistor, closer in value to the resistors I'm using on the buttons, and that effectively uh, reduced the overall resistance of my circuit and increased my current, which gave me more to work with, and I was able to spread uh, my values out that I'm reading in a little more and create some margin of error, which was really helpful because uh, now that I'm using combinations of buttons, I have four choose one plus four choose two and so on. Uh, it ends up being 15 different possibilities of notes that you could play. Since I'm using a single piezo buzzer, you can only play one note at a time, so you can't play chords. So what I did instead was, uh, when you're pressing multiple buttons at once, it generates a unique note instead. And since I've got 15 different notes here, uh, I'll be spanning a little over an octave, including all the sharps. And let's see it. That's it.